Hello, I'm Kevron Reese, and I'm going to show you how to install Linux IS version 2.0.1 in 10 minutes. First, if you can see, set the boot to boot up to the USB stick and save and exit. Cancel, save and exit. We've already got the, our USB with Linux ice in, plugged in and hooked up. So we're going to wait till it gets through. Okay. This is the Linux ice boot screen. Hit boot. Hit enter. Loads up. From the USB stick. While that's loading, this is my boy. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Loading, loading. All right, one minute down. We've already configured the BIOS and it's uh, loading up. All that's loading, I'll tell you a little bit about the hardware we've got here. We've got a Zotac Ion motherboard, Atom 330 processor with two gigs of RAM, two uh, one gig sticks right there. Um, let's see, right, we've got a red light, um, somewhere right here, we've got, uh, an OCC Vertex SSD, uh, which is only 30 meg, or 30 gigs, but it's really fast, so, okay, now we're loaded up, just about, and, uh, by the way, this is the pre- installation version it's telling us we have Wi-Fi networks available so right off the bat we haven't even installed we have Wi-Fi available to us let's click on setup install for the sake of speed okay we're two minutes down for the sake of speed we're just gonna go through the default options all right English next Apologize for the camera. My son's kind of climbing on me. All right, select our time zone. Keyboard layout. Just click next through all this. Partitioner. We're gonna totally blow away a previous installation of Linux Ice. That's fine, click next. All right. About three minutes into it. Okay, information. Gotta be quick. So, you're just gonna be KK, Sunwing password, and next, continue. Alright, three minutes, 15 seconds. Click install, go, go, go. Alright, here it goes. Installing, partitioning. It's going to go for a uh, few minutes. So, uh, here it goes. Calculating. Scanning files. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Good fun. So, the, the, the update's in 2.01. The goal is, the code name for 2.01 is, it just works. So that's the goal of this version. We want everything to pretty much just work out of the box. No extra steps, just install it and have everything ready to go. So it should be easier to set up. Um, a lot a lot better, a lot faster, the latest version of Ben Ghost and everything. We're already at 54% and a little over four minutes and 20 seconds. So obviously this is a faster hard drive, so we're able to do this installation fairly quickly. I think we're going to be limited by USB sticks speed, but we're going, we're going pretty fast. Less than it's telling me I have less than a minute, so it's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully we can get this in less than 10 minutes, that would be awesome.
and we can hit it on YouTube without any trouble. Five minutes. Creating user. Configuring. Okay, so this is an error message that we're going to try and get rid of. It's non critical, just okay. Just means that there's no CD. Obviously, there's no CD. This is a USB stick. So. Stone system. Trying to get stuff from the server, which we're not connected to anything yet, so we don't care. Configuring hardware, final step. Now we're approaching six minutes. We're at 5.55. Six minutes. Hey, son, entertain us. Yeah, entertain us. Come on, do it. Entertain us. Okay, fine. All right, we're kind of we're hanging here for a second. Hopefully, not too long. All right, stick grub. Mm -hmm. Language packs. Removing stuff. So this also has a new Linux Ice kernel, which has built-in. Uh, support for improved hibernation and uh, disabled some some stuff. Okay, let's restart. We're approaching seven minutes. Hopefully, we'll probably be cutting it, cutting it pretty close to our ten-minute mark. Um, the new Linux Ice kernel has compression support for hibernation, so it, it should actually resume really fast. All right, it's gonna... It's gonna complain. Okay. We're gonna remove our stick and reboot quickly. So obviously it can be done faster than we're doing it right now. We're running into stupid issues like forgetting to pull out the USB stick. Oh, interesting. So it's not finding our disk. Curious to see. Right. For some reason that was disabled. No why, but it's now enabled. Could Linux have done that to the BIOS? Probably not. It's probably an occurrence of me unplugging the USB stick and it kind of freaked out. I'm not sure. All right, we're booting up. We're approaching eight and a half minutes, so we got to go quickly. Go faster. All right, log in. Stupid username. This, with uh, Linux size 2.0.1, this is the only time you should ever have to log in. It's when you first boot up right after the install. Okay, we've got everything wireless. Let's go quickly to set up the touch screen. Nice touch. Enter our lame password. Again. Install. It's going to ask us which touch screen we have. We have a USB touch screen. Good to go. Nine minutes. Okay, we got to move that. Go fast. Restart. Restart for our touchscreen settings to take effect. And we're probably not going to meet our 10 minute mark. We're at 9.30. But it should boot under 30 seconds, but still. We need to calibrate the touchscreen. screen. 9.40. Hi kids. Hi. How you guys doing? Alright, there we go. Still about 20 seconds. Not bad. Okay. Go ahead. Real nice touch again. 
since this is a pre-release version, I mean, it shouldn't ask you for a password. We're going to fix that. Don't worry about it. All right, settings. We are 10 minutes. We are 10 minutes, 11 seconds. Touch that. Touch that corner. And touch that corner. And we're done. Working touchscreen. That's it. Thanks for watching.